Okay, let's talk about this environment tab here. I want to explain all of these. In, uh, in the next lesson, we're going to explain a stage. Uh, as I said before, when you want to follow in the simplest way is you can create a plane, make it a bigger, but you cannot bigger it to go to infinite. As you can see, if you render, we have something like this. But if you want to uh, infinite follower, <clears throat> you need an infinite follower, you can hold follower here. And as you can see, we have a follower that it is to infinite. And nice. And this is a simple follower, and you can give uh, any material that you want to that. For example, um, I double click and double click here, make it floor. <clears throat> Nice, that's it. You can assign any material to, to your floor. Another thing is the sky. The sky is an infinite doom, infinite sphere that you can texture it. As you can see. But as you can see, we have an infinite line that can separate <clears throat> a sky to our floor. That is real and natural. But in this software, if you want to make them as a unique uh, background we have to use a simple tag that i explained it here compositing tag i want to this floor composite to the background that means the sky you can come to the tag and in a render compositing and in the compositing i will be explaining more in the compositing composite background we want to composite floor to the sky and if you render as you can see we have one unique texture here or don't forget to for example if you double click and have a <clears throat> sky material that of course it's a light blue give it to the sky give it to the floor composite in tag but it's very usual because their color are different and the software ca ca can composite them. If you want to composite them, you have to give the same material as a floor or a sky that you want. Don't forget to do that. Nice. <clears throat> to uh, effect of that. This is all about the compositing that I have to explain it later. Another usage of the sky that you can insert HDRI maps to them. For example, this is our sky. Going to double click to material editor. And we want to this sky illuminate something. You can instead of reflectance and uh, color, you can turn a luminance channel here. Nice. And in illumination, here you can generate GI, global illumination. It means this sky is illuminate some color to you, to some light. But as you can see, we have no light, no shadow, anything. For seeing the GI, you have to go to uh, settings and in the effects, <clears throat> you have to activate uh, global illumination. And now if you render, as you can see, we have a sky that illuminates the light and we have nice render and shadow. This is one usage of, as you can see, we have a nice light with a soft shadows. Of course, another usage of the sky is you can go into the material, you can insert an illuminance in a texture here in HDRI from your PC. Okay, we have some HDRI here that you can see them. You can insert one of them to HDRI. No, we don't want, and as you can see, oh, this is an IES, sorry, sorry, sorry. You can come here and clear. Okay, this is our IE, uh, this is our HDRR image, high dynamic range that are producing light. And as you can see, this is our garden. And 
let's see as you can see you can see it 360 images and if you render as you can see that image are producing light for us exactly the light of that environment so this is another usage of the sky if you want to sky uh, uh, doesn't see by camera just waiting because the global illumination render is so slow and you need a powerful system to doing that now you can see what a soft and nice color we have but in a <clears throat> viewport you can see it it's a very bad quality but it's very simple you can come here uh no in a material i will be explaining them in a viewport you can preview texture size in any size that you want and as you can see it's seeing better you can see this garden producing light for us with gi <clears throat> and you can add a, another compositing tag to this and tell us seen by camera as you can see you cannot see it but it's there and render it it's another usage of the sky and compositing tag that's it this is another usage of the sky okay sky floor uh <clears throat> another thing that i want to explain yeah we can go another floor and uh, we can add some other five to the infinite i want to explain something and yeah we're going to oh uh, it's better to turn off global animation delete that oh what am i doing Go to the sitting global animation delete that and now we have simple render don't forget <clears throat> okay another thing that i want to insert here is environment this is a simple environment you can add an environment colored overall color to your scene but don't forget to increase the power for example, we want to insert this yellow to our render, and as we can see, we have an overall yellow color to in our environment. This is an all about the environment. It's very simple. Another interesting thing in the environment that you can enable fog in your scene. Enable fog. Now you can see it in a viewport. We have an interesting fog. You can change the fog color here. You can change the strength of the fog. As you can see, it's very simple. You can see in a scene. The distance. The, this distance is the fog uh, distance from the camera. For example, it's very high number. 1000. As you can see, fog is very close to our camera. And you can bring it back. This is a control. For example, we can divided by two yeah as you can see the fog are closer to us affect background for example if we insert a sky and we give a, a red color to the sky as you can see the fog is overrided it means it does not affect that if you go to the environment and turn it off and as you can see the fog does not affect your background or sky or anything that you inserted it's all about that <clears throat> this is all about the background okay we don't need the environment and sky and uh, maybe floor is nice another thing is very simple is a background it's very it's a still image that you can create a background with that as you can see it's a simple background it's not a sphere and um, yeah it's a background 
it's nothing more instead of the sphere you can add any background that you want or you can add some compositing tag with that that's i will be explaining more in some project in next lessons uh foreground we have a smaller usage for foreground that is as you can see it's it's you have to assign a texture you can for example insert a logo here for your work uh let's do some work before doing that you have to see your screen size yeah it's an hd you can go to the photoshop and create an hd let's do that okay i prepared a simple uh, hd uh image that our logo or well, simple logo is here another one is with the uh, alpha which means it's black that the software cut it and the whites are still there so we are going to our material i double click and see the foreground and material and it's material first i want to insert black and white image which means the black will be cut and the white will be maintained so we don't need them we give it to the alpha drag and drop that image here so we drop it here this is a black and white jpeg and as you can see you can see your logo here and you can render it to better see that it's always day there but we have to render to better quality this is one of the uh, usage of the foreground if you want to color things you can insert colorful but we see the problem double click in alpha we clear it and another png but colorful okay this is our png we want that it's rendered but nothing and as you can see it does not colorful because we have to insert it to the alpha also to the color so we simply go here and um, right click mm, copy and then right click in a texture paste and let's as you can see it's a colorful and then you can render it but i think it has a problem there let's fix it let's fix it yeah we are in the alpha in the color oh i think uh, i was mistake that i have to insert that our black and white to telling the software okay cut the black part and see the tc and as you can see it's a colorful here nice okay i will explain the material more but i want to explain this is one of the usage of the uh, foreground here and the floor and anything okay that's it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.